Welcome, Welcome to, to Housegate. Housegate. So in today's video, we're here at New Zealand's largest geothermal reserve here in Rotorua. So we'll find out what makes this place so good and we'll discover why inspired by the myths and the legends and how it was used back in the days. Also today we have the new Insta360 X4 8K camera. It's our very first 360 camera that we're adding to our addition to our kit. So when we're traveling, we're gonna get all these cool perspective, especially 360. So we're gonna be testing that out and see what sort of shots we can get. But simply today, we're just gonna be exploring around the reserve, the walk. Apparently there's also the, the world's largest geothermal waterfall in the Southern Hemisphere. We'll find out soon enough when we go around. Yeah, so we're gonna take you with us, show you around what's to do and we will also tell you exactly how much it costs, what experiences you can have here and yeah. A what? <laughs> A what? <laughs> Kia ora. I'm getting wet here. Is that water? Yeah. Alright, so we just got in and the first thing we notice is the smell. And obviously if you're not used to it, if you've never been to a geothermal place, then you won't know the smell of sulfur. But sulfur smells like rotten eggs. The price for the walk is actually $45 for just the walk. So that gets you an entrance to walk around. There's three tracks, the short one, the medium one, and also the longer track, which is two kilometers. And it takes you about an hour to go around this. And that's where about what we're about to do today. You and can the also- The mud bath is 85 per person. 85 per person, yeah. Which I think is pretty cool. And everyone should have Give it a go. at least once. Yeah. So now our first attraction is the Devil's Bath Devil's and bath? the temperature yeah. is 45 degrees so yeah you shouldn't fall into it. No way. Be very we'll, careful. You'll be burned alive if you, you go in there. You can see the bubbles actually yeah. and the water has a pH level of 3.5 wow. and it was used for baiting by our Tohunga which is a high priest. Mm -hmm. and he attributed his powers of foresight to these sulfur waters. Also in addition, there's also another one that you could get if you wanted to experience the whole thing. And it's, yeah, called, and the it's called the Hell's Gate Experience. Yeah. That costs $105, but you have all inclusive. Like you get the walk, either guided or self-guided. You get the mud baths, you get the lunch pool, you got um, even a sulfur spa and you get a Maori carving experience. It's complimentary as well, I think, but it sounds good. But today, yeah. we are just doing the walk today, but there's a lot to do. We hopefully should come back one day and actually experience it fully. And we're actually doing a challenge, yeah. like a competition. Like a photo so challenge. A competition. Yep. So if we win this competition, then we definitely will be back, but maybe yep. also if we don't win it. <laughs> But super excited to it. I mean, it's a good day to be out, beautiful day. It's winter here in New Zealand right now. And I'm gonna get creative with the Insta360 X4 and let's see what sort of shots we can get. What an amazing place, like as soon as we walked in it felt like we just entered a whole new like land. It feels like, it feels like heaven but they call it House of Gate so I don't know why. So it's been about 20 minutes and we're still right at the start of it. Like we're just awed about how amazing the, you know, how amazing this place is. Um, there's a, a place down there that's called Sulphur Bath. It looks inviting, it looks nice and warm like a hot pool. But obviously if you hop in you'll probably burn yourself. Yeah. Um, it's super bright, so we're squinting a lot. Karina's like, oh, I wish I wore my glasses today. But everything's just so eye candy right now. It feels like it's very warm. But you can see how much steam. It feels like we're getting a nice whiff of smell of that. And what a great walk and a great day. It's a win-win. So we made it to our first viewpoint. We passed through a bunch of different pools but right here, and this is called the Inferno Pool. And it looks super hot. It looks super hot. It feels like um, much hotter than the sulfur bath that I saw before, but Inferno sounds so mighty, right? And look at this. You guys see that? I swear, it's like I swear, like, I swear, like, it's like bubbling over there. It's like boiling. 60 degrees. 
60 degrees. So oh. what? How hot acidic waters can break down solid material producing geothermal mud. Okay, wow. All right, so inferno pool is nothing you want to mess around with. 60 degrees. 60 degrees. I can barely handle 25 degrees in the heat. But that, my friends, is inferno pool. And there's a lot. We're not even through our short walk yet, and there is an hour walk, but we're second guessing right now because I'm getting quite hungry. But just wherever you look, literally 360. With the 360 camera, it looks even amazing, right? You're literally able to cover all the perspective in here. The boiling, the mist, the smoke, um, and the fact that this place isn't so busy. It is $42 for the walk, and I think it's definitely worth it if you spend at least um, a few hours here. And Karina here is super happy because we're triggering so many photos. Um, it's just so nice. I mean, it's not something you see every day. And we are literally less than an hour drive from Papamoa to get here. So if you're ever coming to Rotorua, you guys should check out Hell's Gate because it's definitely one of the best places to check out. So we finally got to test out the X4 out here in beautiful Rotorua. And we've got geothermal activity happening out here at Hell's Gate. And right now I've got it set to 8K30 on 360. We got the new perspective view of Mega and super, super stoked of the, the result that we're getting out of this. Like on a beautiful day, everything looks nice and crispy. So this is like an audio test right now, straight from the internal mic. It looks and sounds quite good. Hi, so this is like an audio test right now, straight from the internal mic. It looks and sounds quite good. Say hi, Karina. Hi. So amazing how we can kind of switch between conversation right now. I'm like literally talking on one side of the lens and she's talking on the other side of the lens. Are you feeling hungry? No, not too much. Not too bad. But yeah, that's an audio. You can literally have a podcast with this thing. It's freaking amazing. So um, anyway, we're going to go get some selfie with this 360 camera because it looks so good. All right. So just as we're walking, we walk past this thing called the infant. And the first thing I saw is why did they call this the infant? Whoever comes up with the name of these things are just crazy there's also one called the map of australia which will probably walk past on the way back mm -hmm. but there's about 24 different type of like pools and different things you can see mm -hmm. but right now i'm super excited because we're about to go to the largest hot waterfalls in the, in the southern, southern hemisphere, hemisphere. Mm -hmm. and this is called kakahi and the full name for that is te mimi te ote kakawi now this is where all the maori warriors used to bathe wow. Yep. after their war because it, the sulfur um, works as an antiseptic antiseptic so that's that's your guys natural like the legends and the myths and how things were yeah. like back in the days mm -hmm. it's amazing what nature can do so we're just about to start our nature bush walk literally bush walk i think it's super gonna excited. be our first geothermal waterfall yeah like no. a big one at least i mean we've been to the one in rotorua i mean we are in kerosene, Rotor kerosene creek, creek. That but is, that's a really tiny one yeah i'm not sure it's if that's like a waterfall a it's more like spring. a it is a waterfall but yeah but this one is apparently the largest hot waterfalls in the southern hemisphere so it's the largest geothermal waterfall. one so i'm super excited Let's check it out definitely smells a lot better here you get a bit of fresh forest air oh man it smells, nice. smells so good right now <laughs> so hell's gate definitely recommend it even if you're just doing the walk but like i said there's all the different experiences you could do the modern spa you could do this walk that we just did for 42 dollars per person or you could do the full experience which is also something i would recommend so after a short walk we finally made it here at kakahi falls and wow it blew my mind when i saw this not only looks super nice, this, I think it, we came here at the perfect timing. The sun's mm -hmm. there, the glow, yeah. the fantail. I think it's actually my favorite place here. Even though the sulfur and like the smoke and everything, the geothermal activity is like amazing yeah. in that other space. But here you get everything combined, like even like a waterfall mm. and nature and like fanny tails flying around. It just looks so It just like, looks like magical. you step into like an avatar. It doesn't feel real, but... <laughs> It does look good. I mean, like the lighting and, and everything. And we're so lucky that we're mm. pretty much alone here. Like we've only seen two people so far, and a guided tour just came by. Yeah, they just walked past <laughs> us, talking about it, saying. So we learned a few more yeah. facts about the place. So not only it is the largest geothermal hot waterfalls here in the southern hemisphere. So this is where the Maori was used to bait in, and it's 40 degrees. 60 you would burn. Yeah, <laughs> you it would was 60 yourself. degrees. Like oh my god, but. <laughs> 
It looks in it looks very inviting. The fact that we're only just here. So beautiful. Possibly one of my best highlights for Hell's Gate. Um, yeah. And I, I just love the nature bushwalk as well. You know, a bit of greenery, a change of scene from what we can see and smell and all that sort of stuff there. Yeah, and Definitely if you reach it. the waterfall, you can just continue walking and mm -hmm. make your way along over here to your right. And it will lead you all the way back to the entrance. So it's a huge loop pretty much. But mm -hmm. we're now thinking, because time-wise, we're not sure if we can Mm -hmm. make it all the way so maybe we're gonna turn back we will pass 22 23 and 24 yes. so there's still a little bit to see on the way back yeah so we're in, we're gonna end up doing the shortish mid walk instead of the long walk the long walk is an hour but the fact that we love photos we love videos it literally took us more than two hours to even get halfway mm -hmm. <laughs> just because everything looks so stunning so if you're gonna sure come here back anyways, yeah like i said so if you guys are coming to hell's gate Try spend at least half the day, have some lunch here or something like that. I think you guys will enjoy it. Definitely great for families, I would say. Yeah, like it's super nice. Go to the have spa. A bath. You can actually spend a whole day because if you do the full experience, yeah. you'll do the walk with the guide tour, the mud and spa experience. I think that'll be super nice. But we're gonna go mm. make our way back now. It's been such an awesome day, afternoon. I really enjoyed this background right we have here. Kakahi Falls, definitely something we will remember being the largest waterfall geothermal in the Southern Hemisphere. That's something in the books and we got to experience here at Hell's Gate. So after Kakahi Falls, we are now waking, making our way back right to the front again, or basically on the exit side. And I come through this one called Sodom and Gomorrah. This is one of the hottest once if you guys can see that it's boiling so hot and it smells well it smells actually pretty good eh? Just, even though it smells like eggs or rotten farts or something like that that's it it's so massive though you guys can see it man what a scenic view really enjoyed today um, sometimes you just got to get out there and obviously explore your, your backyard and um, yeah even though today it's a sunny day. I'm glad it is because otherwise I'd be like wearing a jacket, but it's nice and warm today. And we got to test out the Insta360 X4. And if you guys enjoyed the content that came out of this, let me know down in the comments below if you guys enjoyed that. But so overall, I think the Insta360 X4 8K is actually quite impressive. I've ignored a lot of the previous cameras back with the X2 and the X3, but it's about time the X4 caught my eye and it's the reason why I got one. So that's it for today, guys. We are wrapping today's video and our adventure here in Hell's Gate. What an amazing day it's been. Really enjoyed every single moment and all the things that we've seen. We took so many photos and videos, got to test out the Insta360 X4 as well, which is awesome. But let's talk about our highlights. What did you like the most? Well, I said it before, the, the waterfall was really impressive. Mm. Um, but in general, the whole park is just so beautiful and I can definitely recommend to come here. Even the time was, I think, perfect when we yeah. went. The day was good. We started like around 1 p.m. And now when we head back, it was just perfect with the sun slowly starting to set. Like it gave the place a whole different vibe again. And yeah. It's just really beautiful. Super awesome. And the lack, there's not much people here as well, which is great. But also, I just want to say that um, there's definitely a lot more to experience here. We didn't do the mud bath or the spa at all. And um, hopefully, maybe when we come back, we'll check that out. But if you guys have the experience and you have the whole day, we totally recommend that to get the full experience. Yeah. But guys, like as always, if you guys love the video, hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you want to see more videos and hit that notification bell as well if yeah, you don't want to miss upload. If you have been here before and what you like. And yeah. Yeah. We see you in the next one. Alright, see ya!